Hello, this is Rakesh Rao from Designs and Software Technologies. We are the distributors for BricsCAD in India. In this blog post, I'm going to talk about bloated drawing files and corrupted databases, how to deal with excess baggage and unwanted weight. Now, it is a reality that the longer you use a DWG file in your CAD software, higher the chances of it getting bloated in size or suffer from other kinds of problems and errors. Most of you would be very familiar with this screen or this dialogue that you see here which says that your drawing file is corrupted and needs recovery. So you either need to run recover command or do audit or so many other things to fix this problem. In this post let us examine this issue and see what the solutions could be. The problem with drawing files mysteriously increasing their size over time or even suddenly is common. This is due to the accumulation of unnecessary baggage or data that is not useful for anyone. It is interesting to note that the first two reasons that Autodesk cites for a possible corrupted drawing are external, third-party applications and non-Autodesk software, also known as ODA-created drawings. I would say the listing of the causes is not necessarily correct. I have seen many failures and corrupt data created with regularity when using pure Autodesk software like Civil 3D, Inventor or Raster Design. The newer the version, the more the chances of a corrupt data. And this is true for the guys sitting on the other side of the fence as well, those that use ODA to read and write DWG data. This is a melody that plagues both AutoCAD and BricsCAD. Autodesk has a well-defined documentation of the same in the article shown above. And a host of third-party providers have developed utilities and fixes to help this problem. Talking about bloated files in .dwg CAD, these are called unreferenced symbols or phantom data that is never used. For example, if you define blocks, layers, dimensions, text styles, scale list, edits and so on, that were once required but now no longer needed, it simply adds to the space occupied in the drawing. You may have deleted a whole bunch of entities but its ghost still resides in the DWG file and neither AutoCAD nor BricsCAD knows that this must be deleted. The result is slow drawing performance, increased size, slow pan, zoom and similar operations. Now often this happens unknowingly. For example, doing an indiscriminate copy paste can quickly increase the file size. You may also erase blocks but its definition stays in the drawing. You may bring in XRFs and bind them and then delete them. Their reference also stays in the drawing. The quick solution to this is very simple. Simply do a purge all two or three times to get rid of all the junk. If you're using cat power, there is a shortcut called PUA for purge all, or it's also called CP underscore PALL. An additional and potential problem working with drawings over a period of time is that the drawing database may get corrupted in various degrees. Sometimes the corruption is minor and will just print some error messages during startup and no further damage. But often it has the potential to grow into something bigger. To overcome this, it is suggested that you run the audit command periodically to ensure that your drawings stay clear of database errors. The drawing recovery manager is another useful tool in AutoCAD that can be used to recover files that may be lying in some obscure Windows temp folder or application defined folder waiting to be found and recovered. BricsCAD lacks a good drawing recovery manager and I have been highlighting this need to Brixis quite often. It is on their to-do list and I hope to see this version soon in BricsCAD. On our part, we have made it somewhat convenient for BricsCAD users to have a recovery manager by building one inside CAD Power. The CP underscore recovery manager command already does its best to provide interim relief. It is a freeware command in CAD Power and never expires. So if you face weird behavior in AutoCAD or BricsCAD, please do remember to follow these steps. These can take you a long way in achieving a better experience when you run your CAD software. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Do let me know if you have any questions and for more blogs and info of this kind, you may look up my blog on this URL.